Who would have thought that this fused death row inmate was begging for his death? He was devastated with rage. He even cried for his execution. What kind of punishment was it? Made him feel more horrible than death. This is the newly revised death row bill. Abolish the death penalty, replacing it with dismemberment surgery. To a certain extent, it relieves the death of the condemned and guarantees them no additional pain. They will not suffer additional pain because dismemberment is painful enough without the need for it. The number and extent of dismemberment is up to the victim's family to decide. Man Willie, under the influence of alcohol and drugs, brutally murdered and dismembered a young girl. Now he will be the first to implement the new law, paying the price for his transgressions. The ombudsman reassured, if he behaves well, it is expected that the second or third operation will be stopped. The victim's family is standing outside the operating room. The girl's father's eyes were determined. It's a determination to get revenge. The sharp scalpel closed coldly as he gives the order. The blade cuts through the skin. The sound is like a confetti knife cutting through paper. Two straightforward and gory images. The little girl outside was terrified as silent driving, and so Willie lost his left hand. After he recovered, Willie was taken to various schools as a negative example for the exhibition. Kids, you better remember, you can never do this. At this point, his eyes were full of anger and resentment. The students in the audience were shocked by him. Apparently, Willie had learned to repent this time. Soon the second surgery was scheduled. They were going to remove Willie's right hand and left leg. This time, outside the operating room, there was no longer a young daughter outside the operating room. With the instructions from the victim's family, the masked man suddenly remembered the older daughter and could not bear to see the operation. He turned around and left. After the surgery, Willie looked very weak. She was brought to the children again to show. Compared to before, now she was cowering and timid. The soft tone of her voice gave a sense of remorse, but the kids across the room were not impressed. Some even made hand chopping motions to tone him. Willie smiled bitterly and bowed his head, for he was about to face his third operation. The criminal who had dismembered the girl in a vicious manner now is Saturday in the bathroom crying in despair and devastation because they had accepted the new amendment to the bill. Dismemberment instead of death, Willie was losing weight. He was lying on the table for his third operation. His eyes are full of despair and fear. The supervisor told him that his superiors were pleased with the changes. I thought the operation would be suspended. What I didn't expect when the victim's father outside the room saw Willie. The moment he saw Willie, the victim's father outside shouted with determination to begin. This time Willie lost his limbs, no longer able to move. He became a complete invalid. He was so desperate that he doubted his life. From now on, even if the surgery is suspended, he could not survive on his own and had no more privacy to speak of. As he was getting depressed, Willie had his fourth surgery. The victim's father's face was no longer filled with hate. It was clear that the surgeries had been hard on him, too. But he was in no position to stop it. If he stopped, he would be ashamed to face his dead daughter. He still picked up the phone and gave the doctor his instructions. There was hesitation on the nurse's face, but there was nothing he could do to stop the operation. This time, they removed one of Willie's kidneys and half of his pneumonia, completely robbed him of his desire to live. He's still alive now. Just for the next surgery, Willie's consciousness had begun to blur. He was even asked to watch a video of his amputation. He asked the nurse which leg was cut off during the surgery. It was your left leg, Mr. Willie. After hearing the answer that it was his left leg, Willie responded with a bitter smile. It doesn't matter which leg. He had given up the struggle because the fifth operation was coming up. This death row inmate is a brutal rape and murder of a young girl. His limbs had been mutilated, a kidney and half a lung were also removed, and now he's about to undergo his fifth surgery. Willie is strapped to the table and begging the nurses to stop because this time he loses reproductive organs. The instrument of his crying, but his begging was to no avail. The surgery went on as scheduled. Willie woke up and although the anesthesia hadn't worn off, but knew that his male dignity was gone. Willie shed tears for the first time after the operation. From that day on, he stopped talking to anyone, even in the absence of any emotional state that could be observed. The last surgery was performed. The victim's family still didn't want to stop, so they removed Willie's ears, nose, and his tongue. Lasers removed all his hair, taking away his discreet senses of taste, hearing, smell and touch. It was only at this point the victim's father agreed to stop the dismemberment. By this time, he was staggered and unable to continue watching Willie's surgery. In a way, Willie's penalties became his punishment. He thought the surgery was his revenge for his daughter, but unknowingly, this redemption had already turned into a torment. Mummified Willie lay on the ward, looking at the heartless people, gnashing his teeth in hatred, but there was nothing he could do. Five years later, Willie is still alive. He's in the ward at the end of the south side. The light is always on there. He doesn't say a word, but his eyes are glued to the ceiling. On the last weekend of every month, he's still taken to various school exhibits. Well, that's the end of the movie. We'll see you in the next video.